Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Train Ticket Booking System. And I have developed this project in Java, JSP, and MySQL. The version for the Java I am using is the JDK version 1.8. And for Tomcat server, I am using the Tomcat version 7. But if you have Tomcat version 8 or Tomcat version 9, then you can easily run and configure this project on both of the servers. And also, if you are using the NetBeans server or the NetBeans ID or the Eclipse ID, then you can configure this project on those ID also. But there is a restriction that those ID must have the Tomcat server because I have not tested this project in Glassfish server, right? So this project is compatible with the Tomcat server, Tomcat server 7, 8, 8, 8 and 9, right? So this is all about the server technology and the backing things. For frontend, I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Also, I have used many of the jQuery library for creating drop down menus, integration of the plugins, creating form validations, validating, validating emails, each and all I am using the jQuery plugins, right? So this is all about the technology which I have used in project for developing this, right? So let's start with the functionality go through of this project. So the project title is train ticket booking system and I have developed this project in Java GSP and MySQL and this is a mini project which has only and only customer functionality I have not developed the admin functionality in this project, but if you need the admin functionality, I will implement it too. Right. So let's start with the functionality. So this is the home page of the project and you can see this is all available trains. Currently I have added four trains inside the database, but if you want to add more, you can add any number of trains inside the database, right? And those all trains will be displayed here on the home page. This is the about us and this is the static page and if you want to change the content or if you want to amend the content or if you want to update new things then you can do it directly from the JSP page. This is a search fears from where you will be able to search the train fears right. Search I am searching for Delhi to Ghaziabad. If you click on the search train you will be able to see all of the fears of the Trains means AC2 fares this one, AC2 fares this, AC3 and the sleeper class, right? This is the all trains which all of the trains which is available in the database will be displayed here. Currently there are four trains but you can add any number of trains into the database. This is a registration from where you will be able to register and uh, without registration we will not be able to make any type of bookings, right? So for booking registration is mandatory. This is the login from where you will be able to log in. As I told you earlier, this is a customer based system. So customer can only log in, right? There is no provision for the admin login. This is a contact us page. Okay. This is a static page. I am not sending any type of email, SMS. Even I am not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere into the database. So I am logging inside the system. The username is Amit and password test. So once you log in, you will get the customer dashboard. So this is a customer dashboard. So customer can see the home about us dashboards and the book tickets. So once customer click on the book tickets, then he can search from to to station, right? And the journey date, right? Once he click on the search, then he will be able to get the train types from station to station and total kilometers. And if you want to book the AC, just click on the AC here. You can add any number of passengers here. Suppose here I am a passenger one, right? Passenger two and the passenger three, gender male, control C, right? Age, you can enter any age here, right? Once you click on the book ticket, then you will, your ticket will be booked and you will get the booking page. So this is the booking page. If you want to print this ticket, just click on the print and that ticket will be printed, right? Okay, this is the my booking section from where you will be able to see all of the past booking history. So currently there are this number of tickets you have booked. If you want to print a ticket, just click on the print ticket and you will be able to print that ticket, right? This is the my account section from where you will be able to see the my account details and even you can update the account details. Just click on the update account and that account will show you the account updated successfully, right? This is the logout. If you log out, then above menu will not be displayed. Means this is a session driven and I'm logging out. You can see 
none of the menu is displaying and if you log it then you can see menu is displaying here right so this is a totally session driven menu so these all things which i have implemented in the train ticket booking system and as i told you earlier this is a mini project which has only customer functionality and i have developed this project in java jsp and maya as well so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes inside the project and i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest projects thanks for watching the video thank you very much